All right, getting you up to speed on the rest of today's top stories. A detention officer killed after Sheriff Paul Penzone says an inmate whose name is Daniel Davitt brutally attacked that officer inside the lower Buckeye jail. Officer Gene Lee had been in a coma since the attack, but died shortly afterwards. No word on exactly what provoked the attack. We'll have more information coming up on 12 News at 5. Rough situation for some riders on the light rail in Phoenix today. Take a look at this video. A car crashing into a train at 19th Avenue in Missouri. Both tracks were blocked for a bit, but everything is back to normal right now. Thankfully, nobody seriously hurt. Well, if you are planning on being on the roads tonight, you'll want to be extra careful this evening. We all know it's a big night for trick or treating. It's also a big night for police cracking down on drunk drivers. 82 law enforcement agencies will be out in full force monitoring the streets to ensure both adults and kids have a safe Halloween. Police tell us there will be heavy police presence all over the state from Tempe to the West Valley. Last year alone, police arrested 364 people for DUI on Halloween, and they want to warn drivers to be on the lookout for kids trick or treating on the streets and in your neighborhoods. Phoenix police looking for a hit and run driver today. They tell us a woman was hit by some sort of blue car near 43rd Avenue and Indian School early this morning. That car took off and left the woman with some very serious injuries. If you know anything about who was driving your ass to call Phoenix police right away. We all know dating apps are used by millions of people to meet others and find that true love, but there have been cases where those dates end up in sexual assault. It's happened several times on the ASU campus just this year. The victim and the suspect met on dating apps. While these apps have become the norm, there are things that you can do and there's things that you need to do to protect yourself as well. Tonight at 10, we'll be taking a look at the dating app dangers and what you need to do before meeting up with somebody.